Geography is a really important subject today in our world because it makes a bridge between um, the human world and also our natural world and the planet. And obviously there are large numbers of uh, large number of global issues today. So obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic. So students at A-level, for example, learn about health and development. And also um, we do try and help to give students a sense of place in their local area. So not only learning to appreciate global issues, but also to appreciate local issues as well. Students in um, year seven to nine study a range of different geography topics, our aim being to give them a good foundation on which to base any further studies of geography. So for example, in year seven, one of their first topics is to learn about their local area through the study of map skills to give them a sense of place. Um, we then move on to uh, rivers where we go down to the Surrey Hills and they carry out some field work um, down there. In year eight, we look at urban studies and also volcanoes and earthquakes. This is designed to give the girls a sense of understanding of the impact that people can have in the, in the world and also how people in different countries manage natural hazards. In terms of our field work in year nine, we head off into Kingston to do some urban studies and have a look at regeneration, again, giving the students a sense of place. In year nine, the students are doing a new topic on China, which feeds nicely into the GCSE course. So for those students who wish to carry on the study of geography to GCSE level, they've got a good foundation. And then they move on to an ecosystems topic, which is actually one of the GCSE topics. And we again carry out some field work in the local area to give them um, a sense of context um, for the topics that they've just studied. The geography department at Surbiton is comprised of teachers who've got a wealth of experience. Um, one of our teachers has been at Surbiton for 20, over 25 years. Um, and we, some of us have taught in different schools, taught different syllabuses. So with that comes a wealth of different experience. Um, the department itself has a good range of resources um, for us to tap into. As a department, we offer um, study sessions for students. Rather than them being taught sessions, we operate um, drop-in clinics. So students at GCSC and also A-level can email teachers in advance and arrange one-to-one -one sessions or small group sessions, um, usually to prepare for exams. Um, but we offer that support there as well, which I know students really appreciate this. For co-curricular opportunities, in year seven, students will conduct some field work. Uh, they do a traffic investigation in year seven, just around the school premises. And then in the summer term, we go off to Juniper Hall and they do a study of rivers along the River Tillingbourne and visit villages such as Abinger Hammer, Hammer and Shear to, to do this. Um, in year eight, the students head off into Kingston to conduct a morning of urban studies in the centre of Kingston. And in year nine, students are taken to Bushy Park where they will do some study of the local ecosystem. At GCSE level, the key trips are a day trip to Birmingham to have a look at urban regeneration and then also down to the Jurassic Coast to have a look at some of the coastal features that have been studied in the lesson and then they also get the chance to do some coastal field work as well. At A level, we again use our local area to examine some regeneration projects and then the students head off to Devon for a week of field work at Slapton Lee FSC on the South Devon coast. The, the geography staff are very passionate teachers, are very passionate about their subject. Most of us love the outdoors, uh, love exploring the outdoors, and we like to share this love and care of the, of the natural environment with the students in our care, particularly as we move through it from year nine into GCSE level. And um, it's a really uh, topical, very interesting project. So students, for example, can go off and watch documentaries like Plant Earth to supplement some of their learning in lessons. The reason why I think geography is a popular subject at GCSE and why I love teaching geography is because it gives students a sense of place in the world. So we try to make sure that students not only have a knowledge of the world, of the natural world, of some of the current global issues and how, we can go to, how we're going to manage those issues in the future, but also they need to learn. I feel it's very important that they learn about their local area as well. Perhaps they haven't explored certain parts of areas where they live. So in geography, we do start the, the course by making sure that they have an understanding of where they live and what their place is in their local area.